These are forex trading terminologies every forex trader has to know. They are grouped from basic to the advanced. Now, to make it more interesting, I have a quick quiz for you right here at the beginning of this video to test your logical reasoning as a forex trader. Now, let's start right away. The very first thing that we are going to look at is long. So if you hear somebody saying, I'm going long on gold, it simply means the person is going to buy gold. And now here is my quick quiz for you. If long means buy in a forest market, what does short mean? You see, long and short, they are opposite, right? In meaning. So if long means to buy, what does short mean? Leave your answer in the comment section if you know what exactly short mean in a forest market. But don't worry, if you don't know the answer, I'm going to give you the answer right at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Now quickly, let's go ahead and look at other interesting terminologies in a forest market that we have to look at. Bearish. When is it bearish? It simply means a market which is going down. And when we say bullish, it simply means a market which is going up. So it means stop loss. And what exactly is it? It is a level that you can set in a market whereby if you are into a trade and a trade is going against you up to that point, then the market will close, will close automatically and leave you with your remaining balance in your account. The next one, TP. TP stands for take profit. It is the direct opposite of SL. Now, TP is also a point or a level in a market that you can set such that when you are in a trade and a trade is in profit moving in your direction and a price hits that particular TP level, then the trade will close automatically and give you your profit. Even if you are online or offline, the trade is going to close automatically. To the next one, we have RR. RR stands for risk to reward. It simply means what you want to risk versus what you want to gain. And mostly, it's advisable you risk small and you gain more. To the next one, we have other block. OB stands for other block. And it is a level or an area in a market which is of interest. So we call it POI. POI is also another term that you need to know. It's called point of interest. POI, point of interest. Right from here, we have MS. MS stands for market structure. It, it means how the market is going up and down, up and down. We have a way to locate the correct market structure. And it's also a whole thing on its own. Probably I may make a video on it one day. And the next one is FVG. I've talked about this a lot on this channel. FVG stands for fair value gap. It's also another POI. In other words, point of interest, right? To the next one, we have BOS. BOS stands for break of structure. You see, we have market structure. So there's a way that we can locate the break of a particular market structure. And that is the BOS. To the next one, we have SSL. SSL stands for sell side liquidity. Sell side liquidity is a pool of liquidity below the current price level. And from there, we have buy side liquidity. It's a direct opposite of sell side liquidity. Now, BSL, which is the buy side liquidity, simply means a pool of liquidity above current price level. That is BSL. To the next one, we have EQH, that is equal high, a level that is almost the same above a current price. And the next one we have EQL. EQL stands for equal low, a level that is almost the same below the current price level. Then we have PDH and PDL. PDH stands for previous day high, whilst PDL stands for previous day low. That's pretty much self-explanatory, right? Now we have SMS. No, it doesn't mean short message service. The SMS you will see on your phone. No, it's not short message service. We are talking about forest trading here. SMS in forest trading means shift in market structure. Shift in market structure. Then we have CHOCH. CHOCH stands for change of character. Change of character is when price decides to reverse and move in an opposite direction. Let's assume price in, is in an uptrend, going up, and all of a sudden, price decided to come down, okay? There's something that you have to look out for, which is the change of character. When that thing is present, that, that means price is likely to move in an opposite direction. 
right from there we have ifc ifc is an institutional funding candle that is a full meaning and it's a particular type of candle that you can locate on the chart and it gives you high hope of price moving in the direction that you want it to right moving away from that we have idm no idm over here doesn't stand for internet download manager no 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 no. it doesn't stand for that it stands for inducement you see price sometimes induce liquidity before moving into the direction that it wants to move to and most of the time this inducement is an opportunity for most traders to capitalize on it and take trades to make profits in the market but anyway right from there let me quickly give you the answer to the quiz that i gave you at the beginning of this video remember i promised to provide you with the answer right so going long means to buy and going short or short in a forest market simply means to sell so if somebody say i'm going short on gold the person simply is saying that he or she is going to sell good right so so if you are finding this video helpful so far, go ahead and hit that like button on the video and also hit that subscribe button and become part of this family. Before we go ahead and do any other thing, you know you cannot access the forest market on your own without having a broker which you connect it to the multi-trillion market, right? So my top two recommended brokers that I used personally, I have Deriv and Esnes. Deriv is what I mainly use to trade the synthetic indices and Estness is what I mainly use to trade, you know, currency pairs like GBP USD, Euro USD, gold, etc. etc. So if you want to register with any of them, I'm going to leave the link in the video description that you can use and also check the pinned comment. You're going to see my recommended forest brokers right there. Now, if you already have a forest trading strategy that you want to backtest it and see if it's working very well, then the video showing up on the screen right here is going to be the best video you ever watched today on youtube because this video is going to walk you through how to backtest your strategy for free using the bar replay to without having to pay a dime i'll see you in the next video bless up